Slam. Let's head over to Memphis because Jaron Jackson Jr. He has been balling in Memphis. But please don't do that. Uh, yeah, uh, and this look. He ooh, ooh two hit. That's I, nice. I just want to go on record and saying a two-handed body is very hard to catch, especially against a big man. But way to go body to body. No, no, no really no, don't, no, do no, don't do Leave that. Leave that okay. to me. Okay, yeah, that's please. that's okay. You're that's, the only that's my and the, singing allowed. I'm and the Grizzlies excellent. won, so I guess uh, under Richard's rules, we can celebrate. It was Absolutely enough. So yeah. It, was, it enough. was enough. And because it was enough, let's let's stay on the Grizzlies for a second. Because what do you call yourself, Zach? A Grizzlogist. A Grizzlogist. Yeah, so we have Zach Lowe, a, a Grizzlogist here. So Memphis is now Love eight and one in John Moran's absence. So what have you learned, Richard? First about them during this stretch. Well, I, one, I want to give credit to their coaching. Whenever you have your top player go out, and what is Perk giggling about? Is there, you got a sandwich or something in your pocket? I'm Why laughing. are you giggling? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I'm like, laughing at you talking about body to body. Dog. Like, what is wrong with you, dog? <laughs> a lot. I, 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 look, man, I had two cups of coffee this morning. Okay, back to what we were talking about. What I love about this team is whenever you have a star player that is out, you need other people to step up, but also that's when your system comes into play. Your discipline comes into play. You have to play for each other, and they have been doing an outstanding job of doing that over this stretch. So, yes, no John Morant, no problem, because they've had so many guys step up in his absence. First of all, I feel like I need to block out Perk's face, like from my vision, to be to be to be able to be serious. It's still the big Perk head. But look, Jaron Jackson Jr. made a leap on both ends of the floor. Desmond Bain made a leap from really good bench player to really good starter. And top to bottom, the Grizzlies are just absolutely stacked with right. good players. They have the number one defense in the NBA since John Morant went down over this nine-game stretch. And no team, no team is better positioned over the next nine months to make a big move than Memphis. They have traded they have first round picks they have cap space they've got a ton of good players this is a franchise to watch perk is a fellow grizzologist just so, so you know zach so what yeah, do you think I, big perk I, I, I am and, and, and the problem i have is this right uh, why are we surprised we watched them they gave us a sample size last year uh when they got into the play-in and then got into the postseason and the way that they competed against the utah jazz and we already saw we saw what dylan brooks could do we saw him battling out in the play-in game against steph curry we was waiting on jaron jackson jr and i know he was coming off an injury but we were waiting on this version of him and mm. right now what they have they have is culture and i think that they don't get enough credit from the coach the coaching staff doesn't get enough credit for the culture that they have. When you watch this Memphis Grizzly team uh, play, they don't play like a bunch of young guys. They play like a bunch of vets, the way that they're rotating and not messing up on defensive assignments and covering for one another. It's like a veteran ball club. So, you know, it may be surprising to the rest of y'all, but I still I think they're the number four spot. I think they will finish top five in the Western Conference because when I look at the teams that's ahead of them, they might not be better than Phoenix or Golden State, but they definitely better than Denver right now. They're mm. better than the Clippers. They're better than Portland. It's a list of teams that's under them that will not catch them, especially when they get job back. I don't know. Facundo Campazzo may have a little something to say you about that. Right. I got it. All right, Zach. Perk said it. Grizzlies, currently the fourth seed. Come April, when the playoffs are coming, do you see them as being a top four seed in the playoffs? I'm going to say no on top four, but yes on top six. I think mm -hmm. Perk is absolutely right. We've underestimated the Grizzlies. They've proven, and he's right about the culture, too. Something special is happening there from the coaching staff on down. And like, like Perk said, he just listed all the teams. If those teams don't get healthy, who is rising above the Grizzlies? I mean, even the Lakers, they just smoked the Lakers, and the Lakers had everybody. Like who? At this point, it's like, who are you picking over them? Culture, culture culture we let off this segment talking about coaching mm. do you know a lot of times yes players can create culture but when a player is out then it becomes coaching and culture and to perks point and it's hard for me to say that they have developed a very good one and they get better <laughs> every single year <laughs> Gosh, I love hey, did, I got, hey, did you did you sneak in? Did you sneak in and say, "What are you giggling about? You got a sandwich in your pocket." <laughs> I mean, and you just now yeah. processed hey, country bro. boy a little slow. <laughs> My goodness! All right, well, well, go get yourself one, and we'll get back to that. I'll I give me another one, Richard. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.